Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today, once again, we're going to grab the humble zucchini, also known as a courgette, or as we call it here in Spain, calabacín, and create a delicious tapas dish. We're talking Spanish paprika zucchini. This is known in Spain as calabacín al pimentón. Now, the beauty of this recipe is the technique on how we're going to prep and cook the zucchini. Like I've told you in the past, you cut the zucchini up, you salt it, and then you let it rest between 10 to 15 minutes. By taking that step, that salt's going to extract the water out of the zucchini. That way, once you cook it, it has no much to it, and it keeps its beautiful firm texture. Folks, we're talking a ton of great flavors, uh, done in just 30 minutes, and promises to be one of the best zucchini recipes out there. All right, let's begin by grabbing two medium-sized zucchinis that have already been washed and patted dry and cutting off about half an inch from the ends, which is one and a quarter centimeters. Then we'll cut the zucchinis into two inch pieces. Cut each piece in half vertically and then into slices that are half an inch thick, which once again is one and a quarter centimeters. Then we'll add the chopped zucchini into a colander with a plate underneath. Season generously with sea salt. And mix the pieces of zucchini around, that way they're all coated in the salt. And once again, by taking this step and leaving the zucchini to sit here for a few minutes, it's gonna ensure that it keeps its beautiful firm texture with absolutely no mush in there once it's cooked. In the meantime, let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm going to roughly chop six cloves of garlic. Finally chop a small handful of fresh parsley. And we'll finally grate two tomatoes to end up with half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 125 grams. You can substitute this for the same amount of canned tomato sauce or even passata. Okay, let's move back to the zucchini. It's been sitting here for about 15 minutes, and as you can see, a ton of water has been extracted. At this point, I'm gonna transfer the pieces of zucchini over some paper towels, making sure they're all in a single layer. And we'll pat them completely dry. For the next step, let's start cooking up our dish. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, and the olive oil is nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, we'll add in the pieces of zucchini. And we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. Then we'll place them in a single layer, just as best as you can, and go for about one minute here without mixing the zucchini. After one minute, we'll gently mix the zucchini around, that way it's all evenly sauteing. And then once again, we'll place it in a single layer and go for another minute. And we're gonna continue to cook our zucchini with this technique until it's lightly sauteed, which takes about five to seven minutes. Once the pieces of zucchini are lightly sauteed, once again, five to seven minutes, we'll add in the chopped garlic. And at this point, you wanna gently mix this continuously, that way that garlic evenly sautés. After 30 to 45 seconds, and the garlic is nice and fragrant, you don't wanna brown it, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams. And we'll give it a quick mix. That way the paprika is evenly coating the zucchini and garlic. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. Link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in the grated tomato, about two tablespoons of the chopped parsley, which is eight grams, and some freshly cracked black pepper. No need to add salt here, as we already seasoned the zucchini earlier. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together, and then simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture. Now 
After three to four minutes and the grated tomato has slightly thickened, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and transfer everything into a serving dish. And check it out folks, Spanish paprika zucchini, known in Spain as calabacín al pimentón. Super easy to make, incredible aromas coming out of it, and the kind of food that's going to fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again folks, calabacín al pimentón, this I cannot wait to try. Beautiful from texture, here we go. That is absolutely delicious. First things first is that texture in the zucchini. Absolutely no much in there. It kept its uh, beautiful firm texture. And the flavors, you have all that garlic mixed in with the Spanish paprika, pimenton, uh, and then the tomato sauce. Explosion of so many flavors. And you even get a little sweetness from that zucchini to really balance it out. You saw this easy to make, done in just 30 minutes. Give it a try at home. And I promise with that first bite, this just might be one of the best zucchini recipes in the world. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Maria, Catherine Deshays, Karen Reynolds, and Leslie Tyson. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. Enjoy today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that where Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.